Hey, I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. And if those of you who have been to my channel before know I'm a long-term investor, I look at the market as a place to invest my money into companies that I think are going to change the way I live. And I talk a lot about events, events happening, and particularly events which I call that can never happen again events. The, the first one of those that I'm aware of was World War II. And shortly after World War II, the Allies got together in Bretton Wood, uh, New Hampshire, and said, this can never happen again. And that they created our, our, our working economy that we have now for the world, our free trade, our, our safe oceans to transport goods, and, and basically the United Nations that basically said, we'll never have another Adolf Hitler. That was the first one. The next one that I think of when I think of this can never happen again events was uh, probably 9-11. Uh, when the Twin Towers went down, the, the, I can imagine in the Oval Office meeting where the words, this can never happen again, occurred. And thus far, it has never happened again. After that, the subprime crisis, uh, the crash of the real estate market, and, and, and uh, the financial entities of the United States. And as far as that goes, the world sitting down and saying, this can never happen again. And then more recently, the coronavirus in uh, March of, of 2020. So these are this can never happen again events. And I think another one happened uh, just this past week, and that was the shutdown of the Colonial Pipeline. And I want to talk about that, and I want to talk about it in relationship to who's going to benefit from it. And when I say benefit, where should we invest our money relative to this, this can never happen again event? And I think it's Palantir, and I want to explain to you why I think that is the case. So stick with me. Uh, while I'm gone, subscribe and give me a thumbs up, a like, and uh, let's help promote this channel so that we can get a group of people together who think about the future, not so much what's happening in the market today, but what's going to happen in the future and how we can make good investment decisions, how we can keep more of what we make and how we can build family wealth. I'll be right back. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. There's a group that is supposedly housed in Russia uh, that goes by the name of Darkside, who is taking, I don't know if they, in fact they're taking credit for shutting down the, uh, the, the colonial pipeline and um, ran, with ransomware and extorting them for $5 million. But whoever they are, I think they just made a tremendous mistake. It, it said that the, in this article I read in the Wall Street Journal that they've actually extorted 80 companies since last August for uh, tens of millions, hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, and I can understand that that you can, you can extort a, a local police department or a hospital or some small business, and um, and nobody really pays any attention. It's a cost of doing business, and and then you shut down um, a colonial uh, pipeline, which has five thousand five hundred miles of pipeline, supplies forty five percent of the uh, fuel, diesel fuel, jet fuel, um, to the East Coast. And um, you extort them uh, to to give you five million dollars, or you you can't you can't push fuel through your pipeline. I gotta believe. Put yourself in a position uh, of Joe Biden, and you have a morning meeting, and 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 your your people tell you the extent of what has happened and that there are lines in Georgia and North Carolina and Virginia and South Carolina of people who can't get gas. And the price of gas has gone up 60 cents a gallon as a result of this. Do you think Joe might say, 
this can never happen again. What do we have to do to make sure that this never happens to, again? And I think the conversation would eventually come around and say, who, who has the ability to find out who these people are? And we go and we wipe them out, whatever that means. I'm, I'm going to leave that to Joe and his people. Who could do that for us? Who do we have to get on the phone today to make sure that this never happens again? To send a message to the world, if you're thinking about doing anything like this, you better think again. And I think the name of Alex Karp probably comes up. Well, who's Alex Karp? He's the CEO of Palantir. Why would his name come up? Well, several years ago, it was decided we need to get rid of Assad bin Laden, the head of Al-Qaeda, and uh, we need somebody to tell us where exactly they are, at what time, and we need to send the Navy SEALs in and kill him. And that's what happened. It's rumored, and no one's denied it, that it was Palantir that organize that. What is Palantir? Well, they have created the software that basically uh, knows who I talked to on the phone yesterday, uh, that knows who I emailed um, uh, last evening at 9 at 9 p.m. They've developed the software that, that can, with artificial intelligence, who can sift through anything and everything and say, uh, who who's bragging about just hitting uh, the colonial pipeline for five million dollars, and and let let's ask my let's ask a question about that. You've got a company that um, in in uh, twenty eighteen returned six hundred and seventy million dollars to its investors. Ninety percent of the earnings that the company produced went to its investors. Now, it fell down in 2019 to only $421 million went to its investors for pumping that gasoline, that diesel fuel to, to our cars, to our airplanes, and to our military. Yeah, yeah. They threatened our military. So why do you, why do you only ask for $5 million? What, what, you know, think about that. How many, $5 million, how, is that going to make a big difference in 30 people's lives? No. May it make a big difference in one person's life or two person's lives? Or is it you just do it for a little bit so that nobody gets real upset? Well, I think somebody got upset, particularly when you threatened our military's access to fuel. I believe in the White House, the words were spoken, this will never happen again. And we have got to make sure the world knows it never happens again. Within six months, these people neither either need to be on trial or they need to be dead. And the world needs to know you can't do this. And who's, who, in whose interest is that? Is that just in the United States' interest? No, it's in every country's interest in the world that we can't have people like this holding us blackmail. We, 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 we can't, extorting money from us, shutting down our electric grid, shutting down our, our, our pipelines, shutting down any essential, our, our airlines. What if, what if they can hack the, the air traffic controllers of any country and hold them in ransom? It can't happen again. There needs to be a movie made of this within 18 months of how these people were put out of commission to let the world know this can never happen again. So my vote on who is going to benefit from this Who's going to get the good publicity? I'm glad I own Palantir. I think Alex Camp is Carp is working right now, right this moment, on figuring out how this can never happen again. This is the way I like to invest. I like to read the paper, watch the t evening news, and and analyze whatever happens today 
as to how I can how I can put myself in a position to invest in the companies that are going to see to it that it never happens again. That's why I have a large holdings in biotech. Am I getting beat up right now on it? Yeah, I am. That's why I have a lot of 3D printing. Our supply chain was broken. This, this is a case of our supply chain being broken. If I'm Joe Biden, I'm saying, I'm saying, you don't like my package of building our infrastructure? This is part of our infrastructure. We've got to make sure that this never happens again. If Joe doesn't come out and talk about that in the next 48 hours, give me a call, Joe. I'll tell you what the lines need to be said. Folks, this can never happen again, and I need your uh, contributions. I need this stimulus package to build our infrastructure to make sure this never happens again, and we need to run these people down and let the world know you can't do this to us. If we don't, it's just going to keep happening. I mean, talk about easy money. <laughs> What's the Dire Straits song? Uh, chicks for nothing. What? Money for nothing and the chicks for free? This dark side has figured it out. They got to be shut down. I'm voting on Palantir. I'm glad I own it. I suggest you own it. It's down cheap. It's down below, I think, $20 a share today. I'd suggest you buy some. All right. I'm Kerry Grinkmeyer. I'm uh, the, the, the host of Best of Us Investors. We have a group, a tribe of people that get together on our Discord, and we discuss subjects like this in more detail. Uh, we try to help people make good investment decisions, not based on what's happening today. I'm getting my butt kicked uh, because I'm investing in the future. Because right now, uh, the market has rotated away from technology, has rotated away from the disruptors. Kathy Wood and I are, 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 are losing sleep over it. But I think we both know it's coming our way. And I think we're both glad we own Palantir. We're both glad we own technology because that's what's going to change the world. Okay, I'll talk to you again tomorrow. <laughs>